Heart disease causes about one out of every four deaths and is the leading killer in the United States. One common form of heart disease is valve disease. If you or a loved one has been diagnosed with this condition, it's important that you understand how it occurs and what you can do about it. The heart has four valves, aortic, mitral, tricuspid, and pulmonary. These valves are designed to open and close every time your heart beats. When they are working like they should, your heart valves ensure that your body is getting the oxygen-rich blood that it needs. Heart valve disease is a condition that occurs when one or more of your four heart valves stops working properly. Certain infections, birth defects, or age-related changes can cause heart valve disease. The affected valves may not open fully, or they may allow blood to leak back into the heart's chambers. When this happens, your heart has to work harder, and its ability to pump blood is affected. There are several types of heart valve disease, but they generally fall into one of two categories. Valvular stenosis occurs when the valve's leaflets become stiff or fused and won't open fully. All four of the valves can develop stenosis, leading to the conditions tricuspid stenosis, pulmonic stenosis, mitral stenosis, and aortic stenosis. Valvular regurgitation is also known as a leaky valve and is the result of a valve not closing tightly. Depending on which valve is affected, this is known as pulmonary regurgitation, mitral regurgitation, aortic regurgitation, or tricuspid regurgitation. The most common heart valve problems involve the aortic and mitral valves, and each year, according to the American College of Cardiology, about five million people are diagnosed with some sort of heart valve disease. Knowing what can cause heart valve disease and knowing its symptoms can help you catch the disease early and get the medical attention you need to prevent it from getting worse.